All right, so we're in a little bit of a different spot here. Took a little trip to Texas. Got to visit the girlfriend. Still making videos, though. We're doing an MLB Jeopardy. Now, of course, my good friend Bengal, you might know him from the Madden YouTube game. He actually sent me this one. I don't know if he made it or not, but he found it, sent it to me, said it's pretty good, and we're going to finally try it out. So we're going to see if I can get a really high score on this MLB Jeopardy. Of course, if you guys want to try this out for yourself, link is in the description, as well as if you have any kind of games, quizzes, Jeopardies, whatever it is, make sure you hit me up on all my social media, at Giraffe mark links in description and send them to me there because if i pick yours i'll shout you out and it does help make content in a time where there's not a whole lot to talk about here with baseball so yeah we're doing mlb jeopardy today apologies if the camera's looking a little bit different the lighting is not the greatest right now but we're gonna make it work so make sure you drop a like on the video if you enjoy it subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the content coming at you i know i haven't been uploading much january is always just a quiet month in general this january specifically it's gonna be particularly quiet but we still got lots of videos to make get in the comment section down below let me know if you beat me or lost me in this mlb jeopardy and I want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, DraftKings Sportsbook. The NFL playoffs are here and DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, is kicking off this playoff weekend with a huge offer for you guys. Counting down to Super Bowl 56, new customers can get 56 to 1 odds on any wildcard team to win their game. Bet just $5 and win 286 in free bets if your team is victorious. That's right, just bet $5 on any NFL playoff game and DraftKings Sportsbook will give new customers an additional $2. $280 in free bets if you choose the team that wins the game. Sports betting just became legal in the state of New York where I live, and I know I'm going to be all over the DraftKings Sportsbook app making a ton of bets, especially on the NFL playoffs. I mean, it's a great time to get involved. And if Sportsbook isn't available in your state, there's plenty of other ways to get in on the action. Everyone can play for huge cash prizes through DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports football contests, and they're also giving new customers there for a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes with their first deposit. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code GiraffeNeckMark and get 56 to 1 odds on any NFL team wildcard game. Again, just bet $5 and win 280 back if your team wins. That's promo code GiraffeNeckMark at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring today's video. All right, here we go. So we've got five categories, of course, because this is Jeopardy. Weird facts, MVPs, retired players, 70s, 80s, and current players. I'm pretty good with weird facts, so let's give it a try. Weird facts. In 1911, these two teams were the first to ever introduce pinstripes to their uniforms. It's got to be the Yankees. And who would be the other pinstripe team? The Yankees? Hello? Who's the other pinstripe? Pinstripe team. I'm really trying to think who else had pinstripes. That's one of the original teams. This is a weird fact for 100. I'm struggling on the 100 point question. I mean, would it be the Yankees and the White Sox or the Yankees and the Cubs? Oh, it's the Yankees and somebody. I, I feel like it's going to be the Cubs. Let's go. Yankees and Cubs. Final answer. Giants and Philadelphia Athletics. Is that true? Okay, so this isn't true. This is incorrect. Oh my God. What is wrong with these MLB Jeopardies? Why can't I get good ones? I guess we'll, we'll put zero points because the Cubs wore pinstripes and the Yankees. Yeah, okay. This isn't right. <laughs> oh, this is annoying. This player was arrested for brutal murder of a seagull. Weapon of choice baseball? Killed a seagull? Am I supposed to know these ones? I know Randy Johnson hit a bird, right? I thought he hit a pigeon. I'm gonna go Randy Johnson. Dave Winfield. I didn't know this. I, I guess I'm wrong. Oh my god, we're off to an incredibly horrible start here. 300 points now. This player ended his career with 3,630 hits. 1,815 of them were at home and 1,815 of them we're on the road. Who knows this stuff? Uh, Paul Molitor. Paul Molitor, Derek Jeter. I kind of like Derek Jeter actually a little bit. I think he was right around the 3,600 mark. Let's go Derek Jeter. Stan Musial. Oh my God. How are these? How can anybody get these? These are impossible. Impossible. 400. I'm sure I'm not going to get it. In 2009, these two players became the only two to ever hit home runs from both sides of the plate on opening day. Oh man. Uh, Chipper Jones, I think she's still been playing in 2009. So I'll go Chipper Jones. And who else is a switch hitter? Jimmy Rollins. That'll be my final answer. It's going to be Felipe Lopez and Tony Clark. You gotta be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. That's <laughs> These are not possible. Dude, Tony Clark played 36 games in 2009. What? Who the hell is Felipe Lopez? Felipe Lopez played, okay, played 151. He had nine home runs. He had two of them on opening day. Dude, this is the hardest Jeopardy I've ever done. I don't think it's even close. All right, for 500, I'm sure I'm gonna get it wrong. This player set a world record throwing a baseball 445 feet, 10 inches. Uh, Vlad Guerrero, final answer, Vlad Guerrero Sr. Glenn Gore 
Gorbis. Who in the world is Glenn Gorbis? Glenn Gorbis? This dude played three seasons of Major League Baseball, a total of 117 games. If I Google Glenn Gorbis, does the world record come up? Because that's unbelievable. Yeah, rifle, the longest ball ever thrown. Glenn Gorbis. All right, sure. <laughs> Who knows this? Seriously, if you know this, let me know in the comment section down below. You're free. Well, we're at negative 1,400 to start off this episode. Let's move on to the next category, MVPs. Barry Bonds holds the record for the most MVPs won in a career, although they should have been vacated. Disagree. How many did he win? He won seven. Final answer. Seven is correct. I didn't even need to think about that one. That's easy. The greatest player of all time, Barry Bonds. Seven MVPs is just an insane amount. 200. This player led the league in OPS six straight times twice, and he was an MVP. Um, Barry Bonds. Final answer. Barry Bonds. Babe Ruth. I mean, if Barry Bonds falls in this, I'm giving myself points too. Nope. It is. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I should have been smarter. I, I should have picked Babe Ruth. That was, that was stupid. I, I really didn't think that one through, huh? Okay. 300. This MVP has the highest war season of the 2010s. That's got to be Mike Trout. Has to be Mike Trout, right? If it's not Mike Trout. Or though, it, it could be Otani? No. I think it's going to be Mike Trout. Mike Trout, final answer. Mookie Betts? Oh my gosh. All right. We are struggling. Mookie Betts, negative uh, 1800. Let's keep moving on. Do I actually know baseball? Do I know anything? In 1963, the NL and AL MVP both wore number 32. Who were they? Are you kidding me? 1963 MVP questions? This this is this is hell. Bengal. Why'd you do this to me? This is actually impossible. Um, okay. NL and AL MVP both wore number 32, 1963. Hank Aaron didn't wear 32. I mean, could this be like Frank Robinson? Could this be Bob Gibson? Why am I thinking it's Bob Gibson in the NL? And then the AL? I mean, who could that be? It's 32. That's not a number that I remember. Frank Robinson? Maybe Sandy Koufax? Uh, no, Bob Gibson was not 32. He was definitely not 32 now that I think about it. I'm, I'm gonna go Sandy Koufax and Frank Robinson. Final answer? Yeah, Sandy Koufax and Elston Howard. Sick. Love that Elston Howard was listed on there. This is just hell. We're at negative 2200. MVPs for 500. This MVP finished in the top 10 of the MVP voting five straight times before finally winning one with the Tigers. Uh, I'm gonna go with, it's either gonna be Miggy or Verlander or Al Kaline or Kirk Gibson, right? I think those guys could all be in it. I'll go with Miguel Cabrera, final answer. I don't know who this could be. Charlie Gerringer, Charlie Gerringer. Are you kidding me? Charlie Gerringer. I know he's a hall of famer, but like this is just not a name I'm ever gonna think of. 1930s baseball, Charlie Gerringer. My God, we're at negative 2,700. This is impossible. Let's keep going. Retired players, 100. This player has the most strikeouts all time with over 3,000. Okay, easy. Nolan Ryan, final answer. Most strikeouts of all time. Boom, there we go. Plus 100. Retired players, 200. This player hit 60 homers in back-to-back -back years, but he didn't lead the league in home runs in either year. I believe that's Sammy Sosa. It's either Sammy Sosa or Mark McGuire. I I'm pretty confident Sammy Sosa. I'm going to go with Slam and Sammy, and it is. 66 in 1998, 63 in 1999. Boom. All right, look at me. We're starting to get some points here. Retired players, 300. Playing in the same state, this player would beat out Willie Mays for the 1962 MVP, despite having a worse war by 4.5 and an OPS over 250 points lower. Ooh, playing in the same state. So it's going to be a state in New York. It's either going to be a Yankee or a Brooklyn Dodger. Oh, scratch that. I don't think it's going to be a Yankee or a Brooklyn Dodger. I think it's either going to be a Dodger or I don't even, I don't think the Angels were a team yet. So it'd be the Dodgers or the A's, right? I, who could this be in 1962? I know Sandy Koufax was just a 63 one. So let's go Sandy Koufax, final answer. I don't know. That would be the thing that makes sense with OPS. And I knew he could swing the bat a little bit. I don't know. Maury Wills. Yeah, sure. Maury Wills. Okay. 400. The last time I saw this guy pitch, I wasn't impressed. What? What? This is personal. The last time I saw this guy pitch, I wasn't impressed. How can I answer this question? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Garrett Cole, final answer. Who is it? Kyle Farnsworth. Oh my God. Gene, did you make this one for me, Gene? This feels like an impossible question to answer. Kyle Farnsworth. Okay. 500. This player stole the most ever bases in a single season. Um, it's not going to be Ricky because it's a 500 point one. So it's not going to be Ricky Henderson. It's not going to be Lou Brock. Why do I think it's going to be like Vince Coleman? Why do I think Vince Coleman's the name? It's, it's a 500 point question. Let's throw it out there. Vince Coleman, final answer. Hugh Nickel, 138. Okay. Yep. Negative 3,600. 70s and 80s. My specialty, of course. 100 points. This player became known as Mr. October after hitting three home runs. Same game. Reggie Jackson, final answer. Okay. Boom. We got some points. I'm sure they're going to ramp up incredibly hard. This player led all of MLB with nine home runs in the May of 1982. I 
just, uh, what? Am, how am I supposed to know this? Um, this is a 200 point question. This got immensely harder within seconds of answering it. The, the 100 point one. This player led all of Major League Baseball with nine homers in May of 1982. Uh, let's go with Don Mattingly. Final answer. Bengal, you're a Yankee fan. It's Andre Thornton. You're messing with me. You're literally messing with me right now. All right, 300 points. This player won the Roberto Clemente Award in 1979 for outstanding sport. Dude. You, this, this is a joke. This is messed up. This is messed up. You're doing this to me. Um, uh, 1979, outstanding sportsmanship. Let's see. Who's a guy who's a great sportsman? Gary Carter. Final answer. Uh, it's Andre Thornton again. It's Andre Thornton again. Are you kidding me? Who is Andre Thornton? 400 points. <laughs> Andre Thornton hit the most home runs in all of the MLB in June of 1984 with 12. Who hit the second most? <laughs> Oh, I don't even know. June of 1984. Who was good? Who's good in the 80s? Uh, Mike Schmidt. Mike Schmidt. Final answer. I, I'm sure the name is going to be unbelievable. Let's go Mike Schmidt. And it's Tony Armas. Actually a very good player, but never would guess Tony Armas for almost anything. And moving on to the 500 point question. After two straight World Series losses under Dick Williams, the Oakland A's would hire which manager to lose their third straight World Series? Is this something I should know? Who is an A's manager in the 80s? Or 70s, apparently. The only A's manager I can think of in the 70s or 80s? Uh, Billy Martin. Billy Martin final answer alvin dark who who in the world is alvin dark who are these people that you just gave me as these names let's move on to current players the final category let's see if we can get some right here 100 points this player stole the most most bases in the al in 2021 i think that's whit merrifield right i think it's gonna be whit merrifield pretty confident about that one i'm feeling good let me just think all right let's go whit merrifield final answer <laughs> oh whit merrifield we got it right okay let's move on current players 200 this is one of two current players to wear number 99 and play for the mets in his career oh boy uh, Met player to wear number 90. Hold on. This is one of two current players to wear 99 and play for the Mets in his career. That's an insanely specific question. That doesn't mean he was on the Mets this past year. That means he just wore 99 and also has been on the Mets. Who could this be? I mean, Taiwan Walker wears number 99. So I'm going to go with Taiwan Walker because he's currently right, right? That would be one of them. Let's see who it is. Todd Frazier. Didn't know Todd Frazier wore 99. I'm taking the points though, because Taiwan Walker also wore number 99 and plays for the Mets in his career. So I'm, I'm taking it. I'm I'm technically right, even though it doesn't fit your answer that you want there, Gene Dangus. 300 points here. This player slashed 327, 400, and 673 and added nine homers in the month of May for the Yankees in 2017. Oh, God. Knowing Bangle. Okay, who's it going to be? Because he's just going to pick some random Yankee player who went off for a bit. Is this going to be like Gary Sanchez? I know I know Bangle loves Glaber and Gary, and Glaber wasn't playing then. So I'm going to go with Gary Sanchez. Final answer. Sure. Uh, it's Brett Gardner? There's no way Brett Gardner hit nine home runs in a month. What? Brett Gardner hit nine homers in a month? Brett Gardner hit nine home runs in the month of May. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable hit nine home runs then. Okay, Brett Gardner got it wrong. Move me to negative 4,900. Two more questions here. Let's see how low we can go. This player broke the post dead ball era record for batters hit in the season. Dude, what? What do I do with this? He, this player broke the post dead ball era for batters hit in the season in 2021. Who's, who's a particularly wild pitcher that continues to pitch a lot? Um, Let's go with, I don't know. I'm going to pick some random guy on a random team because that's what Bengals going to do to me. He's going to torture me and just pick a random random pitcher here. Let's go with this guy who hits a lot of dudes and throws a lot of innings. Uh, JT Brubaker. JT Brubaker. No, that can't be it. That's not a good one. Let's someone threw a lot of innings. Dallas Keuchel. Final answer. Austin Adams. 24. A reliever. Okay. Austin Adams hit 24 guys this year. That's an insane amount. And then the final question on what is just a cruel, mean, evil jeopardy. 500 points. I'm thinking of this player. I'm thinking of this player. All right, let's just take a guess. If I get this, I think I win the entire thing. If I can guess the player that Bengal is thinking of, I, I win it all. I'm getting a million points, no longer 500. Um, He's thinking of this player. Who could it be? I think I know who it is. I think it's either going to be Ildemaro Vargas or Domingo Leyva. And I'm going to go with Domingo Leyva. That's going to be my final answer. Domingo Leyva. It's Andre Jackson. Oh my God. Who the hell is Andre Jackson? So pitcher for the Dodgers who pitched in 11 innings last year. I actually looked pretty decent at times. But uh, yeah, negative 500 to give me negative 5,800 on what is the most cruel, evil MLB Jeopardy of all time. I should have known. I should have known that Bengal would have trolled me. Not giving me a good one here. This was impossible. If you guys can beat my score let me know in the comment section down below drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it bengal i think you should let me do an nfl jeopardy for you i think that's the only way to make this fair now is, is let me do a jeopardy for you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any content follow me on all my social media at draftnick mark links in the description shout out to DraftKings for sponsoring today's video you guys know the drill from here on out youtube recommends you watch this video this is my most recent upload click through those if you have not yet seen them thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow for another video bye